over on so this is a little bit different to my normal content but in this video i'm going to show you how to make a working pc thumbstick uh, with a sunfounder ps2 joystick module and an arduino uno let's get started okay so this is the uh, the hardware setup so it's pretty simple um we've just got the arduino uno there and we've got the uh, the ps2 thumbstick module um it's, that's from sunfounder uh, you can probably get other similar ones. We've got the uh, the five pin Arduino connection. That's for the uh, Sunfounder and PS2, and that's for the uh, the Arduino connections there. Then I've got a um, 3D printed housing that I designed. Um, so I'll go through that a bit later. Um, that's just to get it all mounted up and uh, so it's comfortable to use. Uh, got a USB B cable. So that's. Uh, this one here, uh, that's to plug the Arduino into the PC. Um, and then we just got a couple of screws uh, to, uh, to mount it all into the housing. So the way it, uh, way it plugs in is you simply plug in the um, five pin connector into the uh, PS2 module. So for the Arduino side of it, um, what you're gonna wanna do is plug the, the Y pin from the PS2 module. Uh, which on my case is yellow, uh, into pin A1. You're gonna wanna plug the X direction into pin A0, that's brown in my case. Um, the button connection, so that's the, the click on the, uh, on the thumbstick, uh, is gonna wanna go in pin eight. Um, and then finally, you wanna connect the, the ground to the ground connection and the VCC to the five volt connection. Um, and that's that wired up. Uh, then later on, we're just gonna plug in the Arduino into the PC using the USB. So if you do decide to print the, uh, the housing for it as well, um, then uh, it's pretty simple. Um, it's just got two screw holes for the, uh, for the PS2 module. Um, and then you're just gonna wanna screw this straight onto the 3D printed housing. And then once that's all fitted, um, you can just take the uh, take the top um, and just make sure the cables are lined up with the hole. Slot in the um, in the little uh, lugs, and then pop it down. And there it is. So I'll just run through the software side of things. So uh, we're just going to be looking at the Arduino software and the Python code. Um, then I'll take a look at the 3D side of things and the, the printing and then we'll test it out in the game. So for the Arduino side of things you're going to need to uh, install the Arduino IDE. Uh, I'll put the link in the description. Um, then just simply open the joystick file uh, that I've provided. That's in the Thingiverse link. Uh, you can find all the files for the 3D printing and the code there. So once you've opened that um, you should see this uh, I'll quickly run through it uh, if you want to skip that bit um, just skip over to how we uh, make sure it's running as we saw in the hardware setup earlier um, the joystick button will be going to pin 8 uh, this is just declaring the, the pins up the top here the X direction is pin A0 and the Y direction is pin A1 we then just got a little bit of code uh, here which I've stolen from um, a guy on github I'll put his uh, link here. Um, so I've basically just taken his code and, and torn it apart and, and made it work for this thumbstick, um, an Arduino Uno and DirectX input, which is quite important for uh, in a game. I'll talk about that in a bit. So we start uh, writing the serial data. Um, this is the board right here. Um, that's quite important to, to remember. Uh, we have then read the values of the analog pins, uh, the X and Y directions. Uh, and set those back towards zero um, because they, they are offset by about this much. Um, we then have a simple if statement uh, to handle the x directions um, and what this does is takes the variable number um, and then says if it's less than 10 uh, this is to take out some calibration issues. If it's less than 10 um, it's a zero, uh, if it's more than 10 it's a two and if it's neutral then it's a one and this will give us uh, the data we need to send over to the Python code uh, to be able to tell what state the joystick is in. Uh, we then got the same here for the Y direction. 
uh, we've then got a little bit of code here stating the, uh, the, the button states. So this is for the joystick pin. Uh, so lastly, we need to serial print uh, the, the data um, so that we can read that from the COM port. So we start with an S uh, to make sure that we know we're going to um, start the data stream in the same place every time. Uh, we then report the X direction, the comma, Y direction, comma, and then the state of the joystick button. So that's about it. Uh, you might want to change some of these values if you have your joystick in a different orientation. Uh, and then to run it, what we need to do, um, we just need to plug in the Arduino using the USB-B connection. Once that's plugged in, uh, we can check which port it's on. So come down here to port, COM4. Um, so make sure it says Arduino Uno. And once we know that, uh, we can simply upload the code to the Arduino. Once that's done, to check it's working, we can go to Tools, Serial Monitor, make sure the board rate is set to the same uh, amount as it is in the code, and we should see this readout of data here. Now we can test it's working. If we press up, you can see the first digit goes to a zero, down goes to a two. Uh, if we press left, it goes to a zero, right, it goes to a two. And if we click the button, it goes to a one, and if not a zero, and then any combination of those. And this is what the Python code will read to tell the, uh, the computer which buttons to press. So let's head over to the Python code now and, uh, and quickly run through that. So I'll just open this in the editor to run through it. So before we start with the Python, there are two important things you need to know, and that is that you need to download um, and install the packages for PySerial and PyDirect input. So you'll need to pip install those packages. Um, and if you're not sure how to do that, there's plenty of uh, tutorials on how to install Python packages. So I originally took this code from, uh, from the guy down in the description um, off GitHub, um, and I've just edited it to make it uh, work with my setup. The main thing I had to change was uh, this package here um, to get it to work with DirectX games. Um, and because of that, I needed to move it from Python 2 to Python 3. Um, and that's why I've rewritten the code. So first line, um, what we're gonna do is start reading the serial data uh, from the COM4 port. That's why it's important you know which port uh, your Arduino is on, because you might need to change this if it's not on the same port. Um, we then have the board rate and a timeout, and we're gonna call that data Arduino. Um, we're then going to create a list, um, which is going to be a list of the currently pressed keys, um, which we will uh, use to do some actions in a bit. What I'll then do is, is actually jump down to the bottom of the code here. Uh, this is where the data is read, uh, and then we can go through the other functions of what it does with it. So what we're going to do uh, is we're going to call uh, a variable raw data, and that is going to be the um, Arduino code um, line by line, which is important. Uh, we then have to decode that because in Python 3 that comes through as byte data. Um, so we're going to decode that into um, UTF-8 and that's uh, then stored as the data variable. And then we're going to make sure that we start the data reading in the right place. So we look for the S um, and then we say, okay, so the X direction is the second digit. So uh, the first digit is actually a zero here. So the second digit is the X direction. So after the S, it's the one. The Y direction is the four, because we have a comma and then a one. And then the button state is the six, and another comma, and then the button state. So then what we've got is the, uh, the main piece of the code here. So uh, we take um, three arguments uh, from below. So we've got the X direction, Y direction, and the button. We pass them in as X, Y, and Z. So if X is equal to zero, then what we want to do is press the up key because that was up. So what we're going to do is say, we're going to call the key down function, um, which I'll go through in a sec. So we're going to call the key down function and pass over the up key. We're gonna then, as well, because you can't press the down key at the same time, we're just gonna pass the, the key up function for the down key as well. So when we press a key, for instance, if we end up with a zero, which is up on X direction, it will pass the up command into here. And then what it will do with the up command, it will add the current key to the list. It will then run the PyDirect input um, key press for that key. 
Then what we do is if we have lifted up a key and we pass the key up, um, we will delete that key from the keys down uh, list. Um, we'll then make sure that that key uh, is released in the PyDirect input. And that's basically it. So in, in summary, we, we read in the data, um, we convert that data um, and tell it which direction we, means which. We then have a, a couple of if statements to say uh, what values mean which keys. Uh, the key is passed into the, uh, the key press um, function and, and that runs the key press. And that's about it. Um, so there's one important thing you should know and that is that if you want to change which button the joystick press is, uh, that is down here. So at the moment I've mapped it to an I because that does a certain thing in a game um, that I'm playing. Uh, but if you want to change that to anything else, just to simply change these two letters here to the new letter um, and you'll be able to do that. So let's just test that now. So if we run the code, you can see I can go up and down and because I've just changed that to a V, it will type a V. And if I change that back to an I and rerun the code, it will now type an I. So that's it for the Python setup. Um, and before I go through how to actually run it and play it in a game, um, we'll just take a look at the, uh, the 3D printing side of things. So to design the casing for this, um, I just used a piece of software called FreeCAD. And as you can see here, just made of three parts. I just modeled the board um, and the joystick for scale, uh, then just quickly made uh, a base for it with some lugs um, and some screw holes uh, to sit at a nice angle to the, to the keyboard. Um, I then made the top casing, um, just a simple shape, the hole cut out for the cables. Um, uh, it seems to work okay. Uh, I might redesign it to make it a little bit more ergonomic in the future, but it's okay for now. So I've provided some 3D printing files, um, so you should be able to print out the casing for yourself. So all you need to do is download the sloped lid and base STLs, um, pop them over into your preferred 3D printing software. Now, one thing you'll need to do um, is to flatten out this model uh, as it was designed at an angle which most 3D printing software should be able to do. I've printed on 0.2 millimeters layer height um, with a 20% infill and, uh, and that's that. So at the moment of truth, um, we want it all running together. So what we need to do is we need to, um, like I said, install Python 3, um, get that up and running, uh, install PyDirect input and PySerial packages. Um, and then you should be able to just run the, uh, the code. So that will just open a, uh, a little command prompt window, which we can just leave open in the background. And then we can go ahead and test it out in the game. So, test it out in game. So as you can see, um, it works as expected. Uh, it will do forward, backwards, side to side and diagonal. Um, it's not fully analog, uh, but to be honest, you, you wouldn't notice. Um, so I, I much prefer this to, uh, to using the, the uh, keys on, on the keyboard. Um, I mean, it's so much more natural to just, uh, you know, you don't even have to think about which way you're going. You just press the direction which, which you want to go and uh, it almost comes naturally. Um, it also frees up a couple more logical keys on the, on the keyboard. So uh, the up key I've, I've remapped to jump uh, and the down key to crouch. And like I said earlier, I've mapped the joystick button to the I key and that's because in most games that will go into your inventory um, which you don't normally do while you're moving so it's a good button to have there now things i prefer about this is you know if you're if you're running forwards and you want to turn sideways and keep going it's so much more natural to uh to do you can you can plan it a lot better uh, you can also s sort of gradually sneak around corners a little bit easier than you would be able to um, you can also keep your forward momentum while looking in a different direction very easily. And you can do it all while keeping your other fingers free for, uh, for anything else. It does look a little bit stretched out, but it is a bit more comfy than it, it looks. Um, and also, you know, you can design your own 3D housing for this to, uh, to set it up in any way you like. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, if you did, give it a thumbs up and um, let me know if you uh, decided to make this project yourself. Um, and let me know how it went. Thanks for watching. See you next time.